so in this session we'll be, we'll discuss about the uh, you know process one pally request so in sap abap module tool programming i have this uh, you know process one value request in which we get the drop down of values uh, in in a, in a particular screen so how do we do that is what we'll do now we'll see now and we'll take up a particular table on which we'll be building that particular uh, uh, screens and also maintain that maintain our uh, values as well to get the drop down values Here I have eMaster. In eMaster, I have employee number, employee name, and date of joining. So I'd like to get this drop down of values from, say, employee number. And I would like to get it from the same table. So when I execute it, I have employee number as 1000, 1000, 1002. These values should be, uh, should be appearing on the screen so let's do that now for this we'll be building up a program in its 38 so we'll go ahead and do that as uh, say module 2 f4 health create module 2 f4 health Here we'll be going ahead with uh, the uh, table and data. Data and in that data we'll be writing something like Z IT underscore EMP type standard table. Uh, basically, the project that we are doing right now in which in this uh, internal table is not required. So even you can you can skip uh, declaring the internal table actually here. Okay. Activate. We'll design. The, we'll go back and design the screen in SC fifty one. Okay. We'll go to the flow logic. And comment these two and then go to the layout and in the layout we'll design that fields quickly so in the pop-up click on get from program select this field three fields and then getting it here close this pop-up and double click on this employee number employee number say text to employee name Date of joining Okay, so then we'll have the date of joining here Joining the 
this is pb1 exit and i write this as ext okay so i'm just going for exit that's it okay because my my uh, logic concept is here to show the values here so we're not bothered about the saving and all so i'm just going back here and double clicking on the module status handle let's process before output say yes in the main program say okay then come back click on process after input say yes say in the main program say okay that's it done then we need to go ahead and uh, create one more thing called process on value request so we'll be maintaining the process on value request and in this we need to give the field name field and what field of uh, the field for which we have to maintain this is what we need to give it here so the field name happens to be something like the database table name uh, and uh, the database table name that we have there and going ahead with the field name let's do that now So that field name happens to be wa underscore let me just check that the drop down which we want for this happens to be wa underscore emp hyphen employee number control c back and that's what we need to give it here uh, and that's the field that's the field for which we want it and uh, and we need to give the module name here module and module name you can give any module name here so this is something like employee disp underscore employee number disp underscore employee number okay and uh, once we have done with this save double click on disp underscore emp and both say okay and select this main program say okay here and in this we have uh, input so in the input we'll be writing something like data something like begin okay so we need to have only a single field here so i'm just trying to get this as uh, yes and we have a single field here employee number so i'd like to create a structure internal table and uh, work area for, for that particular single screen here single field here so in the input we have uh, i'll be creating something like types begin off 
begin of something like e n o st underscore n this is for specifically for employee number and end of st underscore e n o in this we are going to mention only one particular field which happens to be the field for uh, for which we need to get the drop down so i'll go for the emp envo type and the standard database table we have this data element set ba underscore env underscore de so this is what we need to give here this is what we have to give here so then we'll go ahead with data it underscore envo type standard table of uh, st underscore envo which has a single field here w underscore envo type st underscore envo that's it so we have created a structure uh, internal table and work area kind of thing so here here we'll write um something like select distinct select distinct employee number from that database table into table it underscore env select distinct mp env from set b and e master into table it underscore env that's it so now here we are going to call a particular function module and that is a standard function module here so we need to click on the pattern and we need to call a function module for f4 help so we have a standard function module for this f4 if underscore so and, and like i'll just write it like this because value help this is for value help so i'll just write it like this value request value request f4 value request let me search for that so this is the one we have f4 underscore f4 if int table value request so this is also returning the returning to be value internal table so we'll select this one now so there are other ways of doing it as well but i'm, I'm selecting this say okay it's done so we have this now so we have this and here we have returning field the field name happens to be EMP and O and um, the time program the program happens to be obviously SYC prog or SYREPID either way it's okay so I'm giving it as SYC prog and uh, the time number that the screen number happens to be SY hyphen uh, DY and an R this also is a standard one that's the screen number then we have the field here dyn pro field and this dyn pro field happens to be the the final uh, the uh, you know field called wa underscore w underscore what was that emp hyphen w underscore emp hyphen emp and go that's the field name control c back 
So that's the feeling that we have to give here. And here uh, we need to give that table name which we have selected the data into that happens to be it underscore e and o which we have here. I'll just copy it. And this is the table into which we got the data here. it underscore e and o. Activate back again and activate this one as well. Value of value organization. I'll just explain you about this. Say yes here. Yeah. I'll explain you about this now. I think we are good with this. Let me create a transaction code for this and uh, check if it's working. The drop down. Let's see it now. So I'm going ahead with the SC. 93 SC93 and uh, here I'll go for set B underscore B and O create employee details program and select program and screen just yes, say okay and uh, once it's been done so I'm giving the program name here and this is a program name And then we have the screen number. Screen number happens to be 100. Say OK. And I'm saying getting the package. So this transaction that we and screen number happens to be this one. So let me now do this. Uh, let me back. So here, if you keep the cursor here and click on this, you get the drop down uh, with the values that we have uh, saved in that particular table from which we are taking that. So we're taking those values from a particular table and in that table, we have these three values updated. That's how we got it. Oh, I didn't, I didn't write the logic for exit as well. So I think I need to maintain that, but our primary um, concept was to actually maintain this trans uh, maintain this drop down values so i've done that let me say case s y com and case when txt link to that Okay, now exit also will work. Okay. So this drop down can be implemented for any of the fields that we want. And this is this is called process on value request. So we have successfully done this process on value request. And this process can be done for any of the values, any of the fields that we have. Uh, on the screen. 